welcome back to my channel or a big hello and welcome if you are new. My name is Monica and this is the YouTube channel for the Big Kid Monica experience. So today I'm doing my doll haul. I usually do every month but I missed out on August. This is a combination of August and September doll haul. So this month I mainly got Rainbow High because I have been absolutely obsessed with these dolls and by obsessed I mean buying them constantly and I've had to put myself on a little bit of a ban and buy them a little bit more less regularly but I also got a couple of Barbies just a few but I thought I'd show you everything that I picked up so without further ado before I start make sure you are subscribed to my channel and here's my dog <laughs> and make sure that you like this video turn the notification bell on because we would love to have you here and joining the Big Kid Monica family I upload videos at least once a week usually twice a week um, but I'm going to get more on the ball with uploading. But without further ado, here are the dolls. So the very first thing that I'm going to show you are the two Barbies that I got. So funny story with these. I actually flew up north to a really remote town for a kids show I was doing for performing. And we went into Coles to get some snacks and stuff to take away on a little picnic on one of our days off. And I thought I'd have a quick look in the toy aisle and see if there was anything that I didn't have. And there was two fashionistas that I have never seen in Perth. So I was so shocked. I only had hand luggage. So I had to like buy these two, get them out of the packet, shove them into my hand luggage and bring them back. But I'll show you. I got this one here. I can't remember their numbers because obviously I took them out of the packaging pretty straight away but this is one of the fashionistas here she pretty much has the barbie face mold but with red hair and it's a very very vibrant red color on camera it looks a bit shiny almost pink tinge but it is bright red her outfit is like this almost zebra print it's like painted black and blue stripes on this shiny white material and it's got puff sleeve that comes to the elbow and then with these purple shoes so very very cute very stylish she's one of my favorite fashionistas from the more modern ones i had my eye on her for ages but of course i never could find her in perth and then finally got her so i was very very happy 14 dollars, which is a little more on the pricier side for fashionistas but in a rural rural town and also one that i haven't got i had to snap her up so keeping on with the fashionistas i also got this one too so she is a different face mold to the standard Barbie. She's more tan. She's similar build, but different face. She's got beautiful, it's like a blonde, but almost caramel color hair. And then she's got these tiny little sunglasses perched on there. Um, love her face sculpt. It's so, so pretty. And then she's wearing this little bluey green sort of turquoisey play suit with a little bow on the front and her shoes are like white sneakers you know they almost could be Nike if they were official but she's so cute and I was happy to get two new fashionistas because I haven't had a few for ages and I haven't been able to find any new ones for a long time so there they are very happy with my two so the next things I'm going to show you is I'm going to sort of split it up into categories so I'm going to show you my base rainbow high dolls um from series i finished off series one yeah i've got series one two and three basically then i've got some of the rainbow high cheerleader series i'm missing two so i've got four out of the six and then i've got three special edition dolls so i'll go through all of them with you so from series one i got skylar so she is the blue one I didn't end up combing out her hair because I loved the way it fell. It's perfect in these three ringlets. I looked through all of the blue um, Skylars that they had at the time and she was the most beautiful and she her hair looked really good. So pack, picked her up. Her outfit is, oh, her screening first of all, she's very tan but she's got a blue um, highlighter on her. So very, very pretty. She's got a denim top. And a denim jacket with a denim skirt and a little belt that says Rainbow High on it. And then her shoes here are almost like a jelly gum boot with little socks. And her, it says blue on there. So the attention to detail with these dolls is phenomenal. The quality is also so high. Um, they're jointed pretty much everywhere. You can pose them however you want. They come with the stands, which is incredible, and it matches their colour. Not many dolls actually come with a stand, so this is one of the selling points for me for Rainbow High um, that makes me obsessed with them. So very, very happy to get my hands on Skylar. 
And following her, I managed to also get from series one, Ruby. So she's the red one. Her style is a bit more similar to Jade's, very rock, very grunge, um, urban, that sort of thing. So I really like her. She's got bright, bright red hair and it's very, very long. I kept it mostly in the same style and I kept her hat on as well. Um, her hat is not material, it's like a plastic, you can hear it, but it says on the back rainbow with these fire sort of symbol on it. She's wearing a top over a top, which is very cool. Jacket tied around the waist. Um, her jeans have this sort of pattern on them, which a few of the Rainbow High girls have. But it's pretty cool because it comes straight from the runways. The designer of the Rainbow High dolls actually got inspiration from a lot of the trends and fashions that were popular on with all the famous brands at the moment. Um, and she's got the red stand that matches her. So also with these, she is not wearing earrings. Some of them have pierced ears, some of them don't, which I also find cool because not everyone in real life has their ears pierced. So it matches up with that sort of idea. But I love her makeup that it's sort of gold and orange themed and her eyes are purple. So it all ties in very, very well. So her and Skylar completed my series one collection. So moving on to series two, I managed to get my, I think she might be one of my favourites, but Stella Monroe, she is so, so cute. I loved Bella because she was pink and pink is my favourite colour, but I'm obsessed with Stella. Like her jacket is so, so soft. Her skirt has these sparkles on them. She's got like a satiny pink top. Her hair's in pigtails. I wear my hair like this sometimes. Um, it falls in ringlets so beautifully and look at these pink shoes and the socks with the little fishnet i am obsessed with her um her pink makeup there's the little um beauty mark she is just so so adorable um i think she yeah definitely is my favorite in the show she's got a british accent which is also cool because most of them are american so i'm very happy with her and her second outfit is adorable i forgot to mention yeah with scarlet and jade um scarlet and ruby i should say that their second outfits are also so, so incredible. I sort of try and change them up every now and again. Like I take them, take a night and I watch something, usually Rainbow High or something else, and I dress them all into their second outfits. So then they get a chance to rotate and we get to see everything that they have to offer. So next up I have Crystal Bailey. So she's this one here and she is absolutely stunning. I had wanted her for a long time, but she was actually quite difficult to find for some reason, but came out restocked and I managed to get my hands on her. So how beautiful is her skin color? She's black and she's absolutely beautiful. Like her skin tone is stunning and she actually has nail polish on, which some of them do, but not all of them do. Um, she's got pierced ears, but no earrings in. She's got these little bunny, it's almost bunny ears, but it's a headband. Um, it's like dark blue, almost purple denim jacket um, skirt. It's like a vinyl sort of skirt with these zips on it. And then a little silvery top and her shoes have these tassels on them and matching stand. So yeah, you could call, she kind of has coming up purple on the screen, but I would say she's almost, yeah, dark blue purple. So, so pretty. Um, her hair is also very similar to some of the others like that. And she's stunning. And I was so glad that Kmart restocked her and I was able to get her. So not long after I grabbed Crystal Bailey, the last one of the girls in that series is Carmen Nichols. Um, who could resist Carmen Nichols? She's fluorescent green. She's got this dark skin tone with fluorescent nail polish. How cute is her skirt? It's really delicate and soft and sparkly. And her shoes, she's got similar to Stella, these little socks that are fishnet material with the with the high heels. And I think it's such a cool trend that has been followed because a lot of them have the little socks, which is pretty cool. But I love her. And she is one of my favorites in the show, how she's got um, Karma's Corner and how she interviews people and that sort of thing. So she is a very unique character and very cool. So I'm glad I finished the collection of all of the, um, just the baseline characters. So by baseline, I mean the characters that come 
with the character and the second outfit, so just the normal play line. But the final doll in that line is actually River. So he's this one here. He's the boyfriend of Amaya, and he's similar to Ruby. He's got this plastic um, hat. His hair is like a blue mohawk with shaved on the side, and it's like this flocked material, so it feels very, very soft to touch. Little hoodie with a shirt underneath. Again, he's got the wraparound um, shirt around his waist, jeans, and then these little runners. And they um, are pretty cool runners. They say Dare to Dream on them, and they are almost like Air Jordans or something equivalent to that. I love that he also has the eyelashes. Obviously not as intense as the girl dolls, but yeah, he's got these eyelashes, cute eyes, and perfect eyebrows. So... I was glad that I was able to get River to finish off the collection. And on my shelf, I have him sort of sitting there with Amaya, like the two different types, which is very, very cool. So I'm going to move on now to the Chia dolls. So first of all, I got Poppy. I just love her. I love her skin tone. love the orange. It works so well with her and her hair. I haven't brushed any of the Chia dolls' hairs because I actually like how they're styled in the high ponies. She's got this adorable little bow and um hair clip that goes in her hair i actually struggled to find one that had both of those styled so nicely a lot of them had fallen to the side or completely come off so i hunted and looked through all of them until i found one that was perfect her makeup is almost butterfly around her eyes and she's got this two war paint stripes on her face and she's also got her tiny little freckles you can't oh there you go you can see and like really rosy cheeks so she is absolutely adorable the attention to detail and the quality of these dolls never ceases to am amaze me they're made by the same people who made the brats line so of course they're going to be great dolls i think with these they're trying to aim to do something similar to have lots of different lines and characters and that sort of thing so they're doing a good job of it so far the next one i got is ruby and i am obsessed with her her hair is super long and I love that it's in a ponytail, but it almost looks like it's out. And it's just so soft. And these two front bits here. Her outfit's cute. In the um, in the show, they actually, all the outfits, I think, were designed by Amaya. But they obviously all have their own flair and their own personality into each one. So she's got a ribbon as well, but it's more like tie up and then slides in the front of her hair. Which is very fashionable at the moment and very on point. So they got a did a very good job with getting her. So next I got Skylar. So she looks like this. Her hair is just on point. I put it on my Instagram story that her ponytail is so, so perfect. And um, the way they've done her hair, very similar to how they do the brats. So it's a little nod to brats in their hair. Her outfit, I really like because on the jacket, it's got uh, these little, almost like you'd call them like patches that you'd attach to jackets and stuff. But they're little nods to the show. Like this one says Sparkle, but it looks like the Supreme logo of the fashion brand. Here is the one and it's the unicorn. And the unicorn is the mascot of Rainbow High. So I thought that was very cool. And then Rainbow Magic is the other one there. And then on the front here, just the R. Um, her outfit, yeah, similar to the other girls, but also her own. So she's... Oh, yeah, and look at her makeup. It's, I don't know, the 22. I think that's probably one of the players in the team, I would assume. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then just RH on that side. So I love how all their makeup is slightly different as well. So it looks like they actually did it themselves how they wanted. Next up is Sunny. Her other pom-pom just fell down, but I'm not going to grab it. You get what I mean. Her hair is in her signature two bunches like it is um, in her baseline doll. And her makeup's very fun, very sparkly, just like her. Her outfit's cute. It's actually quite similar out of anyone's to Amaya's, like the same sort of jumper and skirt, but she's got this underneath layer as well. And it's like a side skirt, which is cool. All of them have knee high or some sort of socks involved. And then these little heels, which as a dancer, let me say that would be very impractical to dance in, but it looks so cool and so fashionable. So I don't really mind that all too much so finally these are the three special edition dollars that i got and i'm so happy that i have all of them in my collection now so the first one i think i mentioned it in my last video that i was waiting on the white haired amaya to go with the play set that i have the salon 
and here she is she is very very cool her boots she's got boots almost to the thigh which I don't think any of the other rainbow high dolls have thigh high boots except for Avery but hers are a little bit different and mine's are very very cool um she's got lots of studs and lots of um buckles and that sort of thing and her color is rainbow is sort of like her thing in the show um as you can see in her hair it is rainbow and her outfit is more white based but this particular doll it's more so you can customize it because it goes with the um play set and also in the show she finds a um a machine in the one of the creative rooms that makes you well it helps you put designs and colors onto white based clothing so i guess that's also a little bit of a nod to that but her hair is very very long past the stand actually so you can style it and you can dye it and you can do all sorts of stuff to it i haven't done anything to it yet i have to admit i am a little bit scared to do anything because i don't want to ruin her hair but also i do want to try out the hair chalk and that sort of thing um what else is also cool about her is that her hair not only does it have the colors but it's got these little flecks of um what's it called tinsel yeah it's tinsel that's very popular for people to put in their hair and i love that they've put it in to amaya's they did it in the brats extra not brats the barbie extra lines but yeah then i saw it in amaya so very very cool so she was the first of three special edition dolls i was really trying to get my hands on the next being kia hart so i remember seeing her everywhere around valentine's day last year or maybe earlier in this year and I thought, oh, she, like, before I knew anything about the Rainbow High Dolls, I thought she was just part of the regular collection, didn't realise she was a special edition. But I managed to get her online, Oz Toy Store, hit me up, um, hooked me up, I should say, they do with all the special edition dolls. Oh, her shoe has come off. Um, they have a tendency to do that, these ones, because they have no strap around them. But I always just have her pose anyway. I can't put it back on now. <laughs> But she has got this bubblegum pink hair with streaks of green and yellow and blue and all different things. Very similar to Amaya's sort of hair, but more individual. And then she's got these two braids on the top. Very, very funky. Her shirt says, I love you, but I've chosen fashion, which is so, so relatable. So we love that for Kia. She's also got a beauty spot on this side. The typical highlighter on the face, slides in the hair these jeans which are like a um they are a jean material but like a stretch jean with hearts all over them and then she has a second outfit as well so like all of them she was exactly the same and the stand which is like a bubblegum pink color as well so she is beautiful and I'm glad that I have her I'm glad that I have all of them actually but extra glad to have the special edition ones finally this one was very cool i only just got her this is jet dawson now she is especially cool because unlike the other dolls she actually has half and half hair so she's got black hair on this side and then rainbow hair on this side and then this little bun on the top her skin is very very pale um but she's got these rainbow eyes and then her outfit is sort of it reminds me very much of the Take On Me video by AHA. Uh -huh. It's the um, like sketched clothing almost. So it looks like the clothing has been drawn like that. And then the print that was on some of the other jeans. And then on her hand, she's got these tiny little gloves, which are so cute. So that's her there. Her fringe. A lot of people online have been saying that her hair rooting hasn't been the best. Um, my one's pretty good, luckily. It probably is a bit more sparse than some of the other dolls, I would say. But I think also because a lot of her hair is up in the bun, you probably notice it a bit more. But my one is quite nice, so I'm very happy with her. And her second outfit is beautiful. It's that big dress. And because she's meant to be a fashion designer, and I think she's a third year or even an alumni, something like that in the show, she is very good at what she does. So she designs a lot of beautiful things. She designs the costumes for their... Um, musical that they put on so ties in like that I love how I know so much about the TV show but I love it and I've watched it a few times finally I'm just gonna um, end up with one doll that I got started 
my collection of the winter break. I didn't know we had them here in Perth, but the other day I went into Kmart and I was looking for the cheer dolls because I wanted to get one of the last two to finish my collection. And then I saw some Rainbow High dolls sideways and I was like, why are there Rainbow High dolls not facing the front? And I turned one around, boom, winter break. Was so, so happy to find them. So I was tossing up which one I should get first, but Skylar caught my eye because her hair is these really, really tight ringlets, which is different for her. And it's so cute. And she's wearing this long winter jacket, comes with a snowboard. All of them come with either a snowboard or skis. So she, hers is a snowboard. And then her second outfit is this very fluffy jacket, sparkly jeans and high heels. So, so cute. The artwork on the back is also incredible. I think I'm going to keep this back part and do something with it because they all look so nice. But I really want to get Sunny because she her um, outfit's almost like art pop. It's so cool. So I'm excited to get these ones in my collection as well. Reminds me very much of Bratz, like having all the different kind of lines. So... That's another one but that's the end of my haul it's a lot of dolls but that was spread over two months and it was more me trying to complete different collections and that sort of thing so now i've completed the baseline i have two more dolls to go till i complete the cheer dolls and then starting on the winter breaks um i've got the twins on the way and then i want to get the closet so I think that will be all of them but thank you so much for watching this video it's a longer one than usual but I had a lot to get through so I hope you enjoyed it please like it if you did comment I reply to all of your comments I read them all and I really really appreciate it so also please subscribe to the channel for more videos would love to have you um and would love you to see my videos every week I am incredibly blessed to be a part of the doll community now on YouTube and Instagram I never realized how supportive everyone was and I found myself in a really great niche where everyone is so nice and so supportive and so excited for um, dolls and other things to come out. And especially the um, other doll collectors from Australia, we don't get as many of the drops straight away. So we're always on the lookout for dolls and always so excited for each other when we see new ones or when we get ones in our collection. So I'm so grateful to be a part of that. And I would love to connect to any more doll lovers or Rainbow High or Bratz or whatever out there. So I would love to see you all. But thank you so much for watching this. I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.